And I'm going to show you what 500 pounds of mixed media looks like. Definitely have my work cut out for me. <laughs> been out here for about a half an hour and I haven't even put a dent into this thing and my son just pulled out oh the 45s what is that records what is that this case a rolling stone oh really break down the yeah rolling stone. that's that's awesome so it looks like they're going to be like a uh, classic rock let's just put those back for now and let's continue digging okay we have a ton of sealed movies. I think that box is ready. And then this is what I've got so far. We're putting all the video games here. Sealed stuff that I know I've sold in the past. Like that Celtics one, some anime. Tons of these. And so far, Else we get a sealed uh, Steelers thing, and then those are all games. So I'm putting the video games in one, and I'm just digging. All right, we can see the bottom. Lots of video games. Anything from Wii, PlayStation, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Just putting them all in there. Come on. Is it sealed? Yeah. One sealed, one's open. Nice. Okay. Goes in the game pile. Is that another one? Yep. No. <laughs> 2K19. Come on, dude. It's getting better. Yo, wait, wait. I see you, I think. I think I do too. No, nope. Blu-ray. There's one. Yep, another one. That's that corner right there with all games. This is crazy. Go dump this. What is that? Oh, dude, it's a pile. It's a pile right here. Check it out. Look. I can't even get it. Yo. In that corner. Alright, let me get it. I can't even get in there. Let's see, we got Doom. Any sealed? No. Let me see. Wait, are they, are they, they in there? Please. One. There's one. That's There's right there. Yeah. That's two. Three. Please, please. Nice. They look good too. Yeah. Wow, you found a uh, Minecraft scene. No. Yeah, Blu-rays and the uh, Xbox games kind of look the same. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that Wii? Yep. Another one. Can't get in that corner again. I have to like dig. It's a good time. Hey, it's Monday morning. We're in the shop and we've got, uh, oh, how many? I want to say it's 40. Let me look at the computer here. 48. 48 items going out, tons of media, uh, tons of the horror uh, DVDs that I picked up, uh, what was that, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago? Um, some really good titles here. A lot of them were new, sealed. Some here. Sold the other part of that weather kit. Took an offer of $75. Paid $10 for this one and the, the other one. Another one sold for 100 plus shipping. Um, some figures. That little car there, it's called the Fast Ones. It's missing the, we should have like a, they should have little license plates on there. But it was like $5 plus shipping. 
the free Legos that I got. This is going out. The uh, complete series of NYPD Blue took an offer. I think that was 75 plus shipping. Got a golf club pitching wedge and that cool WWF game. Tested, it works. Little controllers come out. These guys here, which are not very easy to get out of here. There you go. It's got a little controller here. Turn on the screen and you can battle your buddy. We've got, uh, oh, biggest sale of the week was this. This was a church uh, thrift find. It had a set of modern um, poker chips in it. And then I just cleaned it up real quick and I did the old formaldehyde smell test. If you want to check for Bakelite, I just got this really hot by rubbing it like that. And then uh, if you've ever had a dissection in biology in high school, you, you won't forget that smell, that formaldehyde smell. And sure enough, it is. So listed it, found one, exactly the same one um, sold. And I listed this for 119 plus shipping. I paid a whopping $2 for it. And some other stuff, that's a free item I found. I think it's going out $19.99 plus shipping. I sold my Balik. I don't normally sell it. I have a soft spot for it. And this is going out, I think, $14.99 plus ship. Some vintage stuff here, that PT model. Thought it'd be worth more, but it's going out $14.99 plus shipping. A vintage head of the class game. Just wanted to get rid of some old stock. I think that's going out ten dollars plus shipping. Used puzzles, which don't normally sell very very well. Um, I do like the brand uh, White Mountain. Uh, where is it? Right there. Uh, someone paid eight ninety nine plus shipping, which is maybe like twelve bucks for that. And then a couple of other random items. This was um, a freebie at the dump. This is going out $29.99 plus shipping. Some just stuff I had when I was cleaning out the shed. Some aluminum flashing, $10 plus shipping. This was another side of the road freebie. Cleaned it up. It is a vintage caboodle or caboodles makeup. And uh, it's in really good shape. It has the mirror, three drawers, and Plano is. Um, is the company that makes them made in the USA? They make um, tackle boxes. So, this is a great marketing idea. That one's going out $19.99 plus shipping. So, gonna get ready here. Got a busy day. I'm going to uh, list more of this stuff. Gonna list the uh, video games from that giant pallet that I bought and some of the other stuff from the yard sales over the weekend. Um, Gonna be getting those on there. I think I decided that for the snap-ons that I found, I think I am gonna do them individually. I saw a lot of sold listings on eBay. Uh, they're not doing whole big sets. They're just selling individual ones. And they're going from 15 to 25 a piece. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Big game tonight with the Celtics. I got my treehouse. I got some Trillium in there. Gonna have a couple of craft beers and uh, oh, shout out! I'm starting the resellers sticker wall here. So if you have one and you want to trade, let me know. I'll send you one. All right, guys. See you soon. Hey, good morning. Just got back from a little uh, mom and pop thrift store. One of my favorites. Always have good stuff there. And this was new to me. I know this is a modern, probably a Walmart brand, Ion. I did not know that they were making a conversion uh, machine. This is a VCR to PC, some uh, USB, like almost like a uh, printer cable that goes from the unit to your computer. They've got other, you know, modes here, $5. I checked the comps on them and they're right around 75 to $100. So I paid five for that. And this was sitting there on the shelf. It is a Google Nest um, carbon monoxide smoke alarm. 
and it's sealed for five bucks. So I grabbed that. These are about a hundred dollars, probably about 89 to 99. And then this is a smart garage hub. It's an open box. It's new, but it's been opened. And these are about 35, 40 dollars. So 15 bucks. And uh, that's a great way to start the morning. What are you guys finding out there? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, it's a Wednesday morning. We're packing up orders. Pretty good uh, past two days. I sold this uh, it's kind of an older like DJ light. Uh, I think the weight on it really killed the uh, potential buyers for it. But um, the brand is still around. I think it's Chauvet. And um, it's an older one, but has a brand new bulb. And this is $40 plus shipping. And tons of media. More of the um, horror movies that I got in that lot are going out. Some of them are lotted up. And this one here was oh, I sold for $20 plus shipping. I sold, let's see here, that vintage Rough Riders car. You put the battery in there. It's got the little stick shift. And this is going out 20 plus shipping. The Owl um, dash cam that I got free on Marketplace sold $100 couple of uh, other items. This was in a free pile. This was also in a leftover pile for free at a yard sale. It's a um, Netgear, um, I think it's like a repeater. It, yeah, Wi-Fi extender. That was uh, 12 plus shipping, 25 plus shipping. I had this hat for a while. I let it go for $8 plus shipping. The uh, Nintendo sold, took an offer $79.99 plus shipping. Uh, that was ten dollars at a yard sale. Got this at a thrift store for a buck. It's going out fourteen dollars free ship. KitchenAid, some ink, a couple of sealed video games, uh, some spode. I found that at the dump. That's going out for fifteen dollars. And the Schleich I got at a outdoor church sale. This was three bucks. And it's sold for $19.99 plus shipping. The American Girl Sled's going out for $20. And some older video games. I think I got $10 for the Civ 5 and Civ 4, 5 and a SimCity. We also have Sealed uh, Growing Pain Season 1. This was $10. The Waltons Season 1. That was $10, and this is a great show. MacGyver, uh, season two is sealed. This is going out for 10 plus shipping. And that'll be about it. I'm gonna pack them all up, send them out, and gotta take pictures today, so see you in a few. Hey, it's Thrifty Thursday, and this is my fake YouTube voice. I can't believe the stuff I found at a thrift store to flip online. No, but seriously. Um, if you guys have watched some of my videos, you know that I am just real. I don't tend to do a ton of uh, fake editing and fake finds. And, you know, I found this $1,000 item for $5. I, I don't do any of that for views. It's uh, really or just an organic show uh, just to, you know, show you what full-time reseller does during the week. So... I did find these at a thrift store, and I am going to flip these online, um, but I won't do that stupid voice. Uh, this, I almost didn't look it up. I walked by it a couple of times, and normally I don't do, like, the blood pressure cuff type things, but this was, um, oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. It looked like this was at a yard sale, maybe, and then they donated it. That's what I paid. And it looks like it still has the protective the wrap on there. Um, I don't know if it's open box or lightly used, but in any case, the comps are right around $100, $125 on eBay. Um, this is a Kohler. I'll have to go through it. It's a shower or a tub. Um, it's got the spout, the drain spout. And uh, these are about 70 bucks new. This doesn't look used. 
I don't know. This might be one of those ones where I just keep it and upgrade my own shower for what I pay on that one. That was five bucks. And then I always pick up Disney stuff, but I've never seen these. It is a, doesn't have a date on there, but it's one of those little plastic drinks with the, uh, the lid there, two bucks on that one. These aren't huge sellers. I just, I don't know why I pick up Disney stuff. Um, that's it. I'm here at the Salvation Army. I'm going to go in in a second and let's see what we can find. Uh, see what we can find and flip it on eBay. What is going on with this? All right, guys, just leaving that one. Do you want to turn 25 cents into $15? VHS. Silence of the Lambs, sealed. It's got the watermark. That is a um, $15 VHS tape. Grabbed 25 pieces of Fiesta Ware for less than a buck a piece. I don't know. It sells pretty well. It's the older stuff. This is a, um, oh, where is it? Vineyard Vines with cashmere, pullover, quarter zip. And that was $7 and then half off. So $3.50 for that. And I picked up this right here, which I am doing some research currently. To be honest with you, I thought it was Wedgwood. It's a buck. And I flipped it over, and it's got some German markings on it. KPM, some other stuff. Has anybody come across this before? Let me know. Um, paid a dollar for it, and I looked up KPM, but the comps are kind of all over the place with it. And I guess they reproduce it. So I grabbed that Bose. That is a companion uh companion two no three series two that was fifteen dollars and probably the best find of the day was a reverse compatible ps3 reverse compatible got a bunch of games in there i always pick up projector bulbs they seem to sell and uh there's a bunch of them in there some games and I did get that that Kodak uh, camera only because it looks brand new still has the plastic wrap on the back and what did I pay for this six bucks so it's a 12 megapixel um, I'll have to get the charger for it but yeah stuff like that these are easy to flip all right on to the next one Okay, free this way.
It's everyone's favorite part of the video. It's when the sourcing is done. And I'm taking a breath here at the beach. And then, beer is a treehouse. Hey, speaking of, um, still got a bunch of these stickers left. So if you want one, uh, comment below and um, you can message me on Instagram or Facebook and uh, I will send you one. All right, it's beer 30. All right, we're back. I'm getting some old school treehouse, some of the originals and a shout out to the crew. They're always happy and pleasant and helpful and knowledgeable. And uh, that's why I come back every week. All right, here's the haul. Went to three, one, two, three, four different thrift stores. Ended up spending just over a hundred dollars. And I got some ink. That was uh, 50 cents. That sells for, I don't know, $12. And then we talked about the uh, 25 cent D or BHS rather, sealed. And um, it's got the watermarks on there, and that should go for right around 15. Haven't looked up comps on the Kodak camera yet, but I know it's new. Um, does need a charger, so I might have to buy that or sell as is. I got some messages out to a couple of groups I belong to about the plate. Uh, from the quick research I did, it looks like to be from about 1860, 1875, right around there. Uh, this is not a complete set. I went through it, so I will part it out. But for five bucks, uh, I mean, there's a neck for the tub is in there, brand new. There's a really nice um, Kohler shower head, which is also new. Um, check this bad boy, bad boy out. It's gorgeous. So I might just part it out. Um, don't know if I'm going to keep these because a really nice old fashioned would be really cool in one of these things. Um, but in any case, it was six bucks and they should sell for about 25 to 35. But yeah, this thing's really neat. It's got some cool geometry to it have an old-fashioned in that maybe um, got a couple of video games there's a few more but I scanned them and I'm not doing the seven dollar plus free shipping video games it's just not worth it after I buy it for two bucks and then flip it then fees uh, probably make a dollar seventy five to two dollars something like that but these are all in very good shape and complete um, I think that one's like 20 bucks. This one's sealed, which is kind of cool. So these are all $2 a piece. Got the uh, lamps, which sell for anywhere from 15 to $30, depending on the model. And I did look this up. It's uh, new for 25. This has some surface scratches on it, so it's gotta be, you know, sold as used. Um, it is super clean in the inside and the lid. Should probably get about 15 bucks for that. And unfortunately, the respirator did not have this piece right here. But everything else is super clean for five dollars, uh, $6 on this one. Uh, I should do pretty well on it, though. Uh, I'm thinking $50, $60 for it. I uh, did pick up a Bose. It's a Companion 3 Series 2. It's for your computer. This was $15, and these are comped out anywhere from 100 to 150. And the great find of the day was this reverse compatible PS3, and that was $29.99, a little higher than I really wanted to pay for it, but these things are selling for $200, $225 um, without controllers. I've got three controllers in here, plus the power cord little charging station with the AC adapter so I might end up selling this stuff separately and maybe put one controller with this and let this thing go um, I got some games I'll test it um, managed to pick up a couple of clothing items that I mean it's just stuff for me to put on um, Poshmark which I'm doing posh now 
it was that um, Vineyard Vines. So it was seven dollars with fifty percent off. So I paid three fifty for it. Let's get a cashmere in there. Uh, Fisher Flips told me this is a good solid pickup. So I believe and trust everything he says when it comes to clothing and um, maybe not sports or beer. But uh, here's some of the uh, Fiesta that I got. I'm really curious about the marks. I know there's a few different um, marks in the bottom. Like this one is different. It's got the HLC on the top, the USA on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, this one's different. The font and all that. And then there's, a, there's another piece. I ended up getting 22 pieces for $15. So I didn't think that was too bad. This one, and then there's this mark. So I'm guessing this one's more modern. If anybody uh, collects, sells, and buys this stuff, throw me a comment down there and uh, let me know how I did. All right, guys. Uh, it's Thursday evening. Got some more things to wrap up, then I'm done for the day. Well, I didn't do much for work today. And uh, you can see why. Absolutely gorgeous day. Probably 72, 73 degrees here on the Cape. Water temp is still ice cold. If you want numb ankles and you can't feel your shins, well, like 57 or 58 degree water is for you. So it's not terrible to take a day off every once in a while. I really did the bare minimum. I went, logged on, checked emails, sent out some offers, and then I'll list 15 to 20 items tonight, and um, that's it. Didn't really source, didn't go to yard sales, um, nothing like that, so breathe, enjoy, it's okay to relax every once in a while, refresh, see you soon.